Hello everybody, this is uh, the statter I've been working on for the past uh, few days trying to get all the magnets screwed on. This is a special statter that's going to go with this rotor that goes on my heavy iron wheel. Um, what's different about this statter is it's in the yin-yang configuration. It starts off with the smallest magnets down here, goes bigger all in the north more and more and more magnets so it progressively pulls until it gets to the top where you see that big stack right there side by side then it flips over from the north to the south and then progressively gets smaller and smaller so what this is it's the north is the traction zone attraction 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 and one inch later it bounces into the opposing zone which is a repulsion zone with the south and would be violently pushed back down here. But the key is how do you get this, the, the rotor from stopping right there and not wanting to go that extra inch into the repulsion zone. So that's why I've got these magnets that I showed you in my previous video. They slide inside the tubes. So when it comes to that area, they'll automatically adjust back with repulsion just far enough as to not to stop the wheel, but to move the magnet. So the wheel will keep on turning, the magnet will bounce back, 20 pound wheel keeps on going. These are now forced into the repulsion zone per se. Just imagine that in there like that, but it'll be underneath and on the wheel, of course. Anyways, it will push back, causing this magnet to be neutralized because it'll double the distance. So therefore the pull on it will be probably like one tenth as much so it'll just go come back force this wheel to turn even more as this one's already coming out of the repulsion zone this one's now attracted to the front and going to the bigger to the bigger to the biggest magnet and this one's just about to hit this so i got three working clockwise while one is being popped out of the way so that's called uh smart hopefully it's smart anyways it's called stands for uh sliding magnet attractive repulsive technology and this will be hinged on this big wheel that i got right here right now i was just uh spinning this and playing with the uh magnetic forces you can feel tingling in your hands when you get it going really good it takes away the cramps in your hands and creates a magnetic current the reason i've been doing this because i've been doing some interest some experiments about to come up with uh Ed Lee Scannon's uh, magnetic current. I believe he used electrical current to tell the magnetic current where to go and he harvested the uh, current magnetic current in a big chunk of iron and he denoted which way to go by using electricity hence the black box. But anyways that's a whole nother video another story another day so stay tuned but right now we're gonna I wanted to show you this this is my um, setup here the yin yang configuration it's not yin yang in the sense of how we would look at it because true yin yang would go from small to big and then from small to big again but from the perspective of the magnet that's exactly what's happening it's going from small to big and then uh, it's in repulsion so big to small so anyways i'm gonna that's the configuration watch out for my uh, next video where i put it all together and um, give it a spin for the first time and we'll see if it actually works or not Okay, my friends, thanks for tuning in. See ya.